Thank you very much for allowing us to speak about our late President George Herbert Walker Bush. On August 2nd, 1990, I was a infantry battalion commander and I received a message early in the morning uh, to report to headquarters and I was told that Iraq invaded Kuwait. And I thought, what's that got to do with us? We're reservists. At that point in time, President Bush, who was president at the time, let folks know that for the first time since the Korean War, reserve and National Guard forces were going to be mobilized in numbers of unparalleled proportions. And during that time of service, I had an opportunity to see the man. I had an opportunity to see the compassion, the genuine concern that he had for the families of those who were deployed. So I would encourage you to recognize many people know a great deal about him, but let's talk for a second about what makes him him. In September 1944, he was shot down. Two of his fellow crew members were killed. He spent four hours on a raft waiting to be rescued, and he was rescued by the USS Finn and spent 30 days on a submarine. But what you need to be aware of is at this point in time, his family would not have known that he survived. His family would not have known how he was. It would have been completely unknown, unlike what we have today, where we have relatively instantaneous communications with forward deployed members of the military. We didn't have that at the time. That takes a toll on a family, and it makes you a little bit more subdued. There's a comment that we make in the military that many of us are reluctant warriors. Those are the kinds of experiences that lead to that kind of behavior. He lost a daughter who was four years old the same year that his fourth child was born. As someone who has lost a child, I can tell you that can take the wind out of your sails or it could define the type of person you will be. It helped define his character. This gentleman, this president, this leader had a compassion and an understanding and a love for those who worked for him. He was the epitome of servant leadership. In the evenings when he would see his Secret Service detail, he made sure they were taken care of, and he knew every one of them by name. He knew their families. He cared about them. So as we celebrate his life, and we, I am so thankful for the unanimous resolution that you gave today honoring his life, I would ask that we reflect upon a very great Marine Corps expression that we use when someone leaves us. And it said, I wish, Mr. President, that you have fair winds and following seas. And as a retired Marine Colonel, Mr. President, I salute you.